famous football star, has been kicked off the team and expelled from college through the clever scheming of crooked gamblers. Red is shielding the real culprit, his pal, Buddy Cortland, who has lost his memory as the result of a blow on the head. Buddy has been spirited away by a mysterious cripple whose actions stamp him as an enemy of Red and Buddy. Barbara Cortland, Buddy's sister, shares Red's anxiety about her brother, but does not know the facts in the case. Still loyal to his college team, Red has discovered evidence that a player on an opposing team has accepted a bribe to throw a game. While Red is hurrying to the football field to expose the gambler's plotting, agents of the gambling ring are preparing to stop him and recover the damning evidence. There's one chance to win. Grange is going by motorcycle and he's just left. Get into a car, get on the road ahead of him and stop him. I don't care what you do, but stop him. Here he comes now. Here's where Mr. Gray gets out of our game. We don't know. We were driving by and saw him lying here. Well, I guess all I can do is call a receiving hospital. Yeah. Yeah. Hello? Oh, okay, Brady, go ahead. Yep. Everything's Jake. Range on the way to the receiving hospital, and we've got the envelope back. Good work. Make sure that Todd Burns gets it before the game. Oh, Mr. Burns, you dropped your paper. Thanks. You came to take Mr. Cortland home. Mr. Cortland is in 108. Thank you. Hurry up and get him out. I'll stay here and watch. Take Buddy home. What are you doing here? I heard that Red Grange had been badly injured and came to see what I could do. Red hurt? What happened? I can understand how you feel, Barbara. Let's go find out. Everything's all right. This is your sister. We've come to take you home. Don't try to remember anything now, Buddy. Just take it easy. Barbara. Hello, Red. Is he badly hurt? Why, there's some bruises, but we don't know what the internal damage is. We'll keep him here a couple of days to make sure. A couple of days, sir? I'll be gone in a couple of minutes. Oh, but Red, you mustn't. I can't stay here. I've got to get down to the game and stop Todd Burns from playing on the Baxter team. Stop Todd Burns? Why, what do you mean? He's to the gambling ring. He intends to throw the game. 
That's a pretty strong statement, Brad. Can you prove it? Certainly. I've got the evidence here in my coat. Give me Hempstead, 1121. One. Quick. I think you'd better get the doctor. I'm afraid he's out of his mind. Hello, Jerry. Come pick me up at the emergency hospital at once. And hurry. He might do himself an injury. I'll tell the doctor at once. Yeah, I'll meet you on the corner. Make it snappy. Up so along, Red. I'm going to help Barbara take Buddy home. Goodbye, Red. Goodbye. Where are you going? Well, I'm going to the football game. There'll be another game next week. What you need is rest and quiet. Sorry, but I've got to go. Take it easy. Don't excite yourself. Come on, old man. Get back to bed. I'm going out of here. Nobody's going to stop me. Yes, miss. His sister came with a family doctor to take him home. It must have been that blonde woman. No, she wasn't blonde. She was a brunette. Okay, Chief, I've got six men here beside Mullins and myself. Send for more. You'll need them. Crane's got away from here and he's on his way to the stadium. Stop him. Okay. And listen, you fellas. I want you to get this straight. Too fast. Thank <laughs> you. 
You wouldn't listen to me before, Mr. Bradley, but surely that exhibition should prove to you that something is wrong. I know Burns has been bought. I had the evidence, but it was taken away from me. Strange, I'm not going to take your unsupported word on this charge. It looks as if you were sore at your own team and objected to their winning. Now get off the field and don't bother me again. The other half of this $500 bill will be paid you when Baxter has lost today's game with Clay. The envelope is addressed to Mr. Todd Burns. Burns? Who gave you that money? Who gave you that money? Who gave you the money that was found on you? Never mind that. Who gave you that money? Who gave you that money, Burns? Yeah, who gave it to you? Where'd you get it, Burns? Well, I'd like that money. We want to know where you got that, Burns. You did frame Burns, eh? And you stooped to murder to save your worthless hide. No, I didn't do it. The lights went out when I grabbed him. That's all I know. No one was near him but you. Someone phoned for the police. You mean you're accusing me of murder? My duty to hold you and everyone in this room till the police arrive. <laughs> 